last stroke in fall ahead of Republic Day, minor girl hurt. Midcon 2020 held at Hotel Info. And full dress rehearsal ahead of Republic Day held. Hello and welcome to Times of Manipur News. You are watching News Today. I'm Jay Shoinam giving you the news in details. Just ahead of the full dress rehearsal of the Republic Day celebration today, a suspected high-intensity remote control explosive device exploded early this morning at around 4.55. The explosion took place on Reims Road in Imphal near S3 Coaching Centre, Nagamapal. Reportedly, a 10-year-old sustained a minor injury in the blast and five shops were also damaged after the bomb exploded under an electricity post in the area. Reports said the bomb was planted at the foot of Drake Pole. According to reliable information, the bomb exploded just a few minutes after a Maruti car dropped away in full speed towards Rims Hospital. In fall, West Superintendent of Police and other police officials, along with Manipur Police Bomb Disposal Squad and Forensic Team, rushed to the spot for thorough investigation. Meanwhile, Imphal West Police Commando carried a massive bombing operation in various suspected locations in Imphal areas. The Midcon 2020 was held today at Hotel Imphal, Chingmarok. In Koti Foundation, which is an umbrella group of 16 IT companies based in Manipur, organized the event. Chief Minister N. Birin, in Koti President Priyananda Wahingbam, Secretary of Information and Technology Jacinta Lazarus and former Indian Ambassador of to Syria, Afghanistan and Myanmar Gautam Mukhopadhyay shared the days of the event. Addressing the occasion, CM and Birin said that information and technology sector is lagging behind in the state due to certain loopholes in the educational system. He also expressed that parents and guardians are more focused getting a job for their children after completion of studies, which is another factor of IT sector in the state. Biren added that school Pagatansi mission aims to providing proper foundation to every student in government school of Manipur for the reason pre-nursery classes are aided in many of the government-run schools under the mission. The chief minister, however, said IT sector is now moving towards fast pace, citing that Go to Village initiative was a success because of the roles played by IT companies. Biren also urged everyone in IT sector to help the government in proper functioning of inner line permit system in the state and development works in other areas, as his government is all set to extend monetary aid to IT companies through startup programs. Full dress rehearsal of Republic Day celebration was held today under very tight security in Imphal capital with the participation of numerous security personnel officials of various government institutions, students of different schools and colleges. Traffic along the route of the rehearsal was diverted from various junctions to alternative routes from early morning onwards. Sarangthem Ashana Assistant Director, Manipur Police Training Center Pangai, was the parade commander of today's full dress parade rehearsal. The full dress rehearsal march path started from first Manipur Rifles Parade Ground heading towards the southern gate of historic Gangla Fort. The full dress rehearsal of the 71st Republic Day Parade was held in the Jirbam district today. The rehearsal parade that started from Arkes Natombi Devi Vidyalaya Jirbam campus around 8.30 in the morning marched through National Highway 37 and ended at Jiribam Higher Secondary School Playground. Subdivisional Police Officer Jiribam District Police, Thang Jamsana Tomba Singh was the parade commander of the full rehearsal. More than 25 parade contingents of CRPF, 7th Indian Reserve Battalion, Manipur Police, PDF personnel, fire service, student contingents of different government schools of Jiribam participated the ceremonial parade.
The two-day's 100 Flower Higher Secondary School Annual Science, Social Science and Maths exhibition has concluded today. More than 200 students from different schools participated at the science exhibition, where more than 50 models on science and maths were displayed. The main aim of the exhibition is to encourage the young students to focus more in the field of science and to bring out the best abilities through practical demonstration and illustration. Royal Riders Club Manipur observed its 13th Foundation Day today at their office in Lango. As a part of the observance, the member of the club visited Hope Home at Langjing, Langjing and distributed edible items and sport kits to the inmates during a charity ride. The members unfurled the club flag and offered floral tributes to the departed members of the club. President of Royal Riders Manipur, Momocha Lystrom, said that the club has been extending help to those in need in the remote areas of the state without any outside help. They have been continuing work such as conducting medical games, tree plantation in World Environment Day for the past few years. Momocha is sure that they will continue to do so in the future. The observance was also attended by former president of the club, R.K. Tombisana. Wusu players staged a sit-in protest at Kumanlambak Sports Complex today, demanding proper practice hold for Wusu and Taekwondo players. The protest was organized by Regular Coaching Center Training Association. In charge of Wusu RCC, Mayang Lambambi Moljit Singh said that the Wusu and Taekwondo players have been facing difficulties due to lack of proper practice hold for the past few months. Bimoljit expressed disappointment over the performance of Manipur in the Kelo India Youth Games that concluded yesterday. Bimoljit said that Manipur state, known as the powerhouse of sports, won't be able to produce worthy players in the future. Fencing coach and secretary of Kuman Lampa Coach Association, Hizam Hamjit Maite, expressed discontentment over lacking of the stadium without proper notice. The protests held play cards demanding proper facilities. <laughs> ไอ้สปอร์ตสกูปเกิร์มเมนต์มันนี่ปุ๊บมาขาดเลยนี่นะมวยดาไฮเจอร์เนี่ยอ่าโปรเทสเซียสซัทเทอร์เจอร์เน
The plan was the 6 C-130 Hercules operated by Golston Aviation, a Canadian company that held battle last year's California fires. The aircraft crashed in the snowy mountains of New South Wales, about 70 miles south of Canberra, reports info. Now we have the sports news. All the gold medalists of Fort Annual Martial Arts Game 2019, which was held at Shibgram Panjabari of Guwahati from December 27 to 29 last, were defeated yesterday at Poiru Con at Poiru Konjil Playground, Thawal District. The function was organized by PMMC Poiru Konjil, Tulihal Gram Panchayat Pradhan, Muhammad Abdul Khalik, Ward Member Tensubam Kalachan, PMC PMMC President Telem. Ito Singh and North East Gimav Technical Director T.H. Udoi Chan attended the felicitation function as men guests. Ten gold medalist players and coach Berohini were presented with simple gifts and certificates at the event. Indian Tennis S. Sanya Mirja's Australian Open 2020 campaign came to an end. Came to end early and after she retired from her women's double opening match today. Sanya Mija, who partnered with Nadia Kichenok, was trailing in the second set before she was forced to retire with a calf injury. The Chinese pairing of Jin Yun Han and Lin Chu were leading 6-2, 1-0 in the first round match against the Indo-Ukrainian pair before Mirja decided to stop the match owing to her injury. Sanya Mija had earlier withdrawn from the mixed double even before the drawn was announced yesterday. She was set to partner with Rohan Bhopana, but the calf, injured, but the calf injury fo forced her to focus only on the women's double campaign at the Australian Open. Mija expressed disappointment for missing chance to partner with Rohan. Notably, Sanya Mija had made a dream, a dream come back on her return to competitive action after a two-year-long maternity break. The former world number one won the Hobart International title this month along with Nadia's Kichenov. Now we have the newspaper headlines. The Sunai Express, Tata trusts to set up center of excellence, says Chief Minister. Supreme Court declines to put CAA on hold, gives Centre four weeks to respond. Cybercrime cops raise alert on card skimming fraud in SBI ATMs. The People's Chronicle. Supreme Court declines to stay CAA and PR. Supreme Court verdict taints Speaker's prestige, says Gaurav Gogoi. It is illegal and unconstitutional to allow people who won on Congress ticket to become a minister in the ruling BJP government, says Ibobi. Chief Minister scans progress of sports infrastructure. Ukrul Autonomous District Council accuses Ukrul DC of flouting NFSA norms. Infall Free Press. Supreme Court Directive on T.A. Shyam Kumar. A tight slap on BJP's face, says Gaurab Gogoi. Supreme Court declines to say CA. Kudeng Thabi assault case. Action will be taken up the proper investigation, says Chief Minister. Manipur Human Rights Commission has been deprived of its rights, says Acting Chairperson. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Blast rocks in far ahead of Republic Day, minor girl hurt. Midcon 2020 held at Hotel Imphal. And full dress rehearsal ahead of Republic Day held.
That's all we have in this bulletin. Keep watching Times of Month for news.